Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Thirsty's Natural All-in-One, and this is the hook and loop one that I have, so it's the it's Velcro. But this diaper I have been using for about a month now, maybe a little over a month, and and I feel like I've used it long Ellie. enough to know whether or not I like yeah. it. <laughs> and um, here comes the down. And so far, I'm I'm really enjoying it. I have not had an issue with leaks yet. I'm sure that will happen when Violet gets older, but right now it's working great for us. If you're newish to cloth diapers, or maybe you just don't know, um, you do prep natural fiber diapers. And when you prep them, that's that means you wash them uh, quite a few times before using them. Some diapers say you wash them like maybe four times. Others are like up to ten. Um, but yeah, the more you wash them, the more absorbent they're going to get. Because when you wash them, it washes those oils off of the natural fibers. Okay, come here. But I was trying to show you guys. Um, so I did only wash this diaper once before using it, and just washing it once, it still worked just fine. So I don't remember exactly what this diaper fits to. I believe it is 10 to 40 pounds though. Um, if not, I will put that somewhere on the screen. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. This is the print I have. I don't remember what it's called. Maybe Forest Frolic or something. I don't know. I will have this diaper link down below though. Um, so now I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to show you guys all the features of this diaper. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a clip of Violet wearing the diaper so you guys can see what it looks like on her. It is a very trim diaper, which I think is like what I like most about it is how trim it is. So yeah. So here's the inside of this diaper. All together, there are 11 layers of absorbency. Violet, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. There are four layers in this flap, four layers of this flap, and these two flaps are cotton, a cotton hemp blend. And then there are three layers right here, which is only cotton. This diaper does have a tummy panel which I think can help with leaks, especially if you have a tummy sleeper. Um, and now I'll show you the outside of this diaper. So like I said in the beginning, mine is hook and loop. And the hook and loop for thirsties is actually really good. Um, I know some issue that will probably end up happening is this part can get a little discolored, but, um, but they're hook and loop usually lasts a long time, which is why I decided to get this. You can like cross over the hook and loop because the top of it has the looped material and then of course right here, it's very hard to, um, it's really hard to undo with one hand. So it is very strong. It also has these washer tabs. So right here where it's stuck on there right now, is where you're going to put it when you wash the diaper or when you're not using the diaper. Um, so yeah, I just always keep my diaper like this just because I don't want to wear out this. So I don't want to keep like undoing it, doing it. And yeah. <laughs> so that's one thing you have to remember though when you use this diaper is always make sure it's hooked right here because you don't want the hook and loop hooking onto your other diapers. And I just think if you wash it while it's open, it'll also wear it out a lot faster. So that's a cool thing that they have. Um, and now let's talk about the snaps. So there is a three by three rise setting on this diaper, which is pretty standard for most cloth diapers. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful diaper. I am obsessed with this print. Yeah, overall, I am loving this diaper. I love pretty much everything about it. Um, the hook and loop is, eh, I mean, it's a lot easier to use because you don't have to snap, but I feel like sometimes I get kind of weird fit because with the hook and loop, I sort of treat it like a regular non-cloth diaper. So 
I notice sometimes that I accidentally do it a little too tight and then of course I loosen it. So that can be something that's kind of weird to get used to because of course with a disposable diaper you can put it pretty tight and it's fine but of course with a cloth diaper you can't put it too tight. <laughs> So like that's the only problem that I've had with this diaper. So now let's talk about leaks. So I have had one leak with this diaper. Well, you know, I wouldn't call it an actual leak. It was more like wicking. I just had some wicking along the bottom. Um, I think it was about where the leg elastics are at. And that tells me that this diaper was like completely saturated, which makes sense because I had Violet in this diaper for a while. She was wearing it for like about an hour and then she ended up falling asleep and she napped for about two hours and then I changed her 20 minutes after she woke up. So she was in this diaper for a very long time. It's probably not best to use this during bedtime or nap time unless you have a little baby. Then of course this absorbency will be enough. But if you have an older baby like mine, it is, at least for us, it's not enough for nap time or bedtime. But during the day, this diaper is great. Um, I haven't had any other leaks except for that one time. And now I know I won't make that mistake again. But if you would like to use this diaper for longer periods of time, you could always lay um, some type of insert on top or underneath, where basically anywhere. You could just lay it wherever you want. And that will add more absorbency. And this diaper is trim enough to where like adding an insert or two wouldn't be an issue it wouldn't be too bulky and yeah so yes this is the diaper I am loving it so far with natural materials um, they do stain a little easier not sure what these spots are um, I'm hoping something just got on the diaper and it's not like mold or something I don't think it'd be mold but but it does take an extremely long time to dry this thing takes forever to dry, especially in this area. So this whole front area takes forever. I sort of wish that the flaps were like one on this side and then the other one on this side, just so it wouldn't be all this absorbency in one spot. Because I do hang dry my diapers and yeah, hang drying them. I, this thing takes like three to four days to dry and it's, it's extreme. So that's really the only downside to this diaper is drying time. It does have these like pockets inside the inserts. I don't know what they're for. Maybe it's to help them get cleaner because they can open up a little bit when they're in the wash. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm assuming that's for. Yeah, because this is too small to like put anything inside of. And they both have it. So yeah, I definitely think that's for the wash. Ball. Yeah. So here is the diaper on her. Um, oh, her onesie. It is very trim. She is on the highest rise setting, I guess. That like is button. So overall, it's a great diaper. I recommend it. It's pretty awesome. It fits about the same as their pocket diaper. It's kind of hard to tell though because I had the pocket diaper with snaps and I feel like I probably should have got this with snaps so I can actually compare them. But the fit is very similar. Um, the only difference is the hook and loop. It's a great all-in-one. I won't say it's my favorite because I actually have a favorite all-in-one right now. And I will have that diaper linked down below too if I have posted it by the time this video is up. I'll probably have it up a week after I post this video. So if you want to see that video then um, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for that. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video.